Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today's question came on my Facebook page. How to stop attracting the wrong man? My relationship lasts for 2-3 months and for some reason I'm attracting married men. It's like a bad karma. How to stop attracting unavailable men? Recently, I started dating younger guys. A few times I told the man that I love him, but suddenly everything goes wrong and I'm alone. I want to have a normal relationship. How to stop attracting the wrong guys? I would like to know what am I doing wrong. I'm a loving person. I smile all the time. I'm a very positive. I will really appreciate your advice. This woman is asking three questions, three topics. First one is dating a married man. Second one is dating a younger man. And the third one, she's saying that her relationship uh, lasts only for a short period of time. Uh, let's talk about each point separately. First one is dating a married man. When a woman um, is three to five years old, she's competing with her mother. She's competing with her mother for father's attention. And the mother should be the winner. In an ideal situation, the girl learned that married man is not for her. That married man has a wife, her mother, and he loves her, so she cannot win. So when the girl is growing up, she already knows that a married man is an available man. And she is not interested in the relationship with the married man. It also can happen in the situations when a father is telling a girl that she is the most important in his life. Or when he is saying that he loves her more than anyone and he loves her more than mom. In this case also, the mother is not the winner. The daughter is the winner. So the girl is thinking, if I was able to win the competition with my mom, then any other wife is not going to be an issue. She does not really care about any other women. It's not happening like consciously, it's subconsciously, but she's thinking like, if I was able to win the competition with my mom, then who cares about his wife? He loves me. Maybe in your life it was different. Maybe your father did not say those words, but your mother was unavailable. Maybe your mother was uh, working very hard, was working a lot, or maybe she was emotionally unavailable. And in this case, you were more close with your father. So he did not tell you that you're the most important person for him. He did not tell you that he loves you more than his wife, but you knew it. You kind of knew it from your heart, you from the inside that, you know, mother is busy. Your mother is not emotionally available, but you have such a good contact with your father. So you are theoretically and practically the winner. So that's why you are attracting married men. I have a separate video about dating a married man. Consequences of dating a married man and about the habit of being a mistress. I will leave the link below this video. The second topic is about dating a younger man. If it's just two, three, four years younger, then it's okay. That's totally fine. Um, I don't see anything wrong about it. But if he is significantly younger than you, then it might be about trust issue and control issue. Possible that after several uh, unsuccessful relationships with a married man, you cannot trust a guy. You uh, cannot trust to go into deep relationship. You already learned that love equals pain. So in this situation, you decide that you're gonna be in control. So it's better to date younger guys and control the situation, control the relationship, than uh, go back to pain. Because if you're controlling, you're kind of like in charge of everything. You cannot feel pain. You can manage the relationship. So in this case, you're saying, uh, I will control the situation. I will control the relationship. I will be in control. 
because you're older you already know what he's going through you already know what to expect from a younger guy so you're going in this relationship and it's easy for you it's easy for you to be in charge uh, in this situation you're becoming like a mother who is controlling the relationship a woman can control a man in two ways the first way is uh, like a hard way when she's telling him what to do when she's teaching him when she is checking what he is doing and the second way when she is loving caring supporting she is like a nice soft mother who is uh, taking care of her boy taking care of his um, problems you know who is controlling him in a soft nice way and it's also a control just a little bit different but it's also a control and the third topic is about the relationship that lasts only two, three, four months. So why is it happening? This is about fear. Fear that relationship will bring pain. Fear that your heart will be broken again. Fear that something will go wrong and it's going to be even more pain. And this is the reason why you are choosing unavailable men why you are choosing the wrong guys because you're afraid that your relationship will bring even more pain so it's better to be in relationship for a short period of time because if you're gonna be in a long-lasting relationship then the pain will be bigger so you want to be in relationship but you want to be for a short period of time because married man is also unavailable man so it's also about short relationship. You are choosing short relationship, unavailable relationship because you're afraid to feel pain. It's better to be in a short relationship and have small pain than be in a long relationship and have huge pain. So the fear of being close in relationship, the fear of future conflicts, the fear of future future divorce maybe or the fear of uh, being disappointed is so huge that you are choosing unavailable guys that you are choosing a wrong man that you are choosing a married man that you are choosing a man who is significantly younger than you so this is all about the fear the fear that my heart will be broken again that I will be disappointed, that I will, will feel so bad, that I rather be alone. I rather be alone, I rather end the relationship now, I'd rather choose unavailable men. So it's gonna end in two, three, maybe four months. I also have another video about why am I unlucky in relationship and about jealousy and loneliness. I will leave the links below this video. Make sure to check those videos. Um, share this video with your friends. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe to my channel. Put the thumbs up if you like this video. Click the bell icon to receive notification of new videos that I post every week. Thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.